Welcome back, everybody, to Houston. We are at the draft after a disappointing season, but a great tread, tread, a great treadmill, <laughs> a great trade deadline. There we go. Uh, and yeah, some things to cover. So let me just open up my GM notes here. So uh, obviously, we are in sort of, I guess, not a dire need, but we definitely should improve our defensive core because we've maybe been focusing a little too much on offense, which I could buy into that. That's probably true. If we go to our defense here, yeah, this is what we've got. So we could definitely improve this and maybe even add sort of a stud muffin per se. Um, I've also been told that maybe Ethan Bear and the Hammerhead should part ways. He has, I think, five years left at four million. And he's 82 overall, medium top four. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I've heard he doesn't sim too well. He doesn't really seem to be growing. He was a dash 17 this year, which I mean, the whole team didn't really do super good. But yeah, that dash 17 is pretty bad. So that is something to keep in mind. So maybe we could trade him and try to move up for maybe a better defenseman with a pick involved. But I don't really plan on trying to actually progress any spots in the draft. I think we're fine where we are. And yeah, I don't think it's going to be a great draft class anyway based on looking at the pre-reports there um, under the draft class I think I also saw a comment about doing the draft interviews so they can give you a better scouting report on three players that you choose to interview so that's good to know for the future wasn't really aware of that but yeah uh, in terms of goalies so I don't really know what to do with the goalies we might just rock the two that we currently have, um, because we got an 84 and an 83. Di Pietro is listed as a starting goaltender now, and we also have Jari, who's listed as a starting goaltender at 83. So we have two starting goaltenders there, which is nice. And if we go to in the system, we have Scott, who is just basically hard stuck, <laughs> but you know he's not making a whole lot. We could probably part ways with him though. And try to get Teal the starting role this year, who has the high elite potential, and start him in the AHL. We're definitely signing this guy. So, yeah, uh, let's go to the draft. Like I said, we're not going to try to move up because I just don't really see a point. The draft class doesn't look super strong. So, let's sim to pick 12 and let's see what we got here. So, if we go to the first pick, medium elite, no X Factor, no abilities. Jaskin, okay, so yeah, that's pretty solid for sure. And then no, none again. Three abilities there. Two abilities there. All right. So, yeah, that's about it. There's not a whole lot going on. I definitely am not upset from not moving up. So, we have these two guys here. But I don't know if I trust that scouting report. Yeah, well, okay. This guy's guaranteed to have tape to tape. They are basically ensuring me that he has tape to tape with medium top six. When's his NHL ready? Two years. Phil Housley. I doubt he's going to have an X Factor, but even... Oh, and Magnetic, too. All right, you know what? We might have to go for this guy. Even if he doesn't end up being medium elite, he has the abilities. He's an offensive defenseman. He looks good. And why is he... He's supposed to go 42, but our next pick... I don't want to risk that. I really don't want to risk that. No. Because, yeah, there's all these guys here, but what about the top sixes? Like, these guys are supposed to go high, but I don't know, man. No, let's let's go for him. Considering he's basically guaranteed to have the two abilities, I think we should. His strength and competition was an A+. So that is something to note. And, yeah, they're pretty confident in those. All right, let's take him. Here we go. Make pick. Okay, medium top four. That's still good. And, oh, my word. Fire me up. That is huge. Five abilities. No X Factor. But five abilities. You love to see that. All right. Let's sim pick and read. I don't think that was one of the guys we were looking at for the medium top sixes. Actually, I don't really remember what their name was. No. None of these look familiar. I think there was like a a Russian guy maybe. I don't know. But yeah. So we got a bunch of abilities there. Reed, he comes with one. Uh, they got two there. All right. So it's... um Yeah. I'm still happy with our pick. I think that was good. So let's sim to our next pick. And I am going to do a little bit of scouting here. Oh, there's a gem. Hmm. Listed as a gem. That's the first time we've seen that. Which makes me 
Very tempted. Very tempted. 62, so... Yeah, again, I don't know if I'd want to risk waiting to the next round. Oh, man. This is tough, you know. This is real tough. Uh, we did not get a lot of good scouting there. Okay, let me let me do some scouting. I'll get back to you guys when I'm ready to make a pick. So we have this guy here who's basically guaranteed to be a medium top four defenseman, but not supposed to go till like 90-something, so we could take them next round in five years till they're NHL ready. So I'm going to take a risk on the gem and see what happens here. Yeah, gem bust. Aiden Yoshi. What a name, too. All right, well, here we go. Let's see. Probably not worth it. Low top six. And no abilities. All right. Well, 62 overall is not that low. Yeah, maybe. Might end up panning out. We'll see if they play in the AHL. So pick number 78. We should probably go after that top four defenseman if they aren't already gone. They very well could be. But if not, you know, it's basically guaranteeing a medium top four defenseman. Yeah. All right. I think I should just take Isaac here. So I'm going to do it. Make that pick. And medium top four. 52 overall. Definitely needs some work, but it's, uh, you know, a pretty solid draft pick for the third round, in my humble, honest opinion. Ovechkin. Uh-oh. Okay, well, let's sort by this again. We got, these guys want me to take Bird. Graham Bird was on our scouting list, and you guys barely even scouted him. Awesome. Personality. Nothing to report. They are very confident of that. <laughs> hmm. They want me to take him. Maybe I should just do it. Just risk it for the biscuit. And, yeah, make the, the pick. Let's see if there's anyone with abilities or X-Factors here that the scouts are pretty confident of. That's not going to be a thing. And it doesn't really look like it, for the most part. Hmm. Okay, once again, let me just do some scouting here. And I will get back to you guys with the draft pick. Alright, I've made my mind up. Douglas, he's not going to have this ability. No shot. But six foot seven. 239 pounds, enforcer. Yeah, this will be a fourth line player for us, hopefully, eventually one day. Medium bottom six, and no abilities. I expected that all the way through, but I'm just kind of hoping that we can at least get them up to like a 70-something overall to play for our team and be that enforcing player that, well, I guess they potentially could be. They are a big, big player, and they can throw that body around. We just need to develop them a little bit. All right. I don't really know what to do from here. These later rounds usually get pretty rough, which is expected. I mean, you can sometimes find gems, but it's kind of unlikely. And there's abilities, but again, that's not going to happen. Well, um, I mean, goalies are always worth sort of a shot, you know? They, they usually have pretty decent potentials, but I don't know. And if you get a goalie with an X-Factor as well, yeah, I'm pretty much just tossing away picks at this point because I don't know who to go after. Um, maybe we should take that goalie that had the the two for the, what's it called, ability. It wasn't an X-Factor, but they're not going to have it. Who knows? Maybe, right? Oh, no, this is, oh, this is the goalie, Adventurer, Hudobin. All right, this is basically a throwaway pick, I bet. But there you go. Medium backup and no abilities. Uh-huh. All right, Sim to our last pick. Not really sure what to do here. I doubt we're going to get anything super swell. But let's see if there's any decent... Okay, well, bottom six forward medium, but that's not even guaranteed. AHL top six forward. Let's go. Very confident in that. So, yeah... It's basically going to be one of the people above that, and I don't know who we should grab. Uh, hmm. Should we just go for the the goalie, maybe, again? Because goalies usually... Uh, but no, they didn't even do well with C-minus competition. Oh, this pick is not going to be good. But you can't really expect much from this late in the draft. Okay, so... 229, but guaranteed to be AHL. I mean, you, you can change your potential. That's for sure. But let's just take the goalie. Screw it. Let's go, Doug. Dougie. Medium fringe starter. Not bad. You know what? That could, that could work. So let's go ahead and sim the entire draft. What would you say that medium fringe starter is equivalent to? Like a medium top nine or something along those lines? Or would it be like a medium bottom six? I don't know. But 
Either way, I think it's pretty good for that late in the draft. All right, and let's re-sign some contracts, shall we? So we have $20 million of cap space, and we don't really have too many... Pl well, we pretty much have no big names we just signed. Del Cole, two-way, yes, please. What about Jose? You want a two-way as well? Yep, sign you up. Angval as well with the two-way contract, definitely. I mean, if, if these guys all just want two-way contracts, then I'm signing them back for sure. Because I want that AHL team to be juice. Yep, you can come back as well and offer you a contract. Sure, you can have that. Uh, Mason Marchman. He's actually doing pretty good right now on Florida, isn't he? Ooh, he wants a one-way. No thanks. I'm out. Uh, Carrick, two-way. Yep, there you go. Offer that contract. Suzuki. Interesting. Still 77 overall. Wants one year. Yeah, I'll just give you what you want for now. Sure. Hopefully that ends up panning out a little bit more. Deneen had decent potential and then sort of fell off, but it is what it is. Yeah, you want a two-way deal, so I will give you that contract for sure. Beagle. Two-way? Yeah, there you go. All right. And then, ah, eh, why not? If you're looking for a two-way deal, boom. There it is. So let's check the goalies. Um, I don't know why... I always press the wrong one. You think I would know by now, but teal for sure. We need to get this guy in here. So boom, there you go. And that is going to be our AHL starter this year. Hopefully Scott is going to be gone. Well, most likely anyway. And then none of these goalies I really want to sign. I mean, this guy could be our backup in the AHL. Possibly. Vincent Filion. He's medium backup. Yeah. Yeah. 67 overall isn't awful, especially if you're going to have Teal 74 as a starter. So let's let's just try it, you know? Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? So let's advance a day, and Beagle rejects. All right. Very rude. Um, okay. I'm going to reject. There are too many players in my position. Wow. All right. Didn't know that was a thing. So I think we got a lot of the important people, a.k.a. Teal, and we already had Reinhardt back. Palmieri's contract is running out, but that's okay. Uh, Yanmark, we're gonna let walk. Should I just sign Yanmark? No, no, no. Let's let's let him walk. Okay, Del Cole, can I offer you a little bit more? Like I'll give you a nine seven five. I'll give you the max for a two way. Same with you, Angval. Boom. Yep. Have it your way, Hosang. There you go. Sure. Why not? And then March Mint, we're going to let walk. Okay, let's try it one more time. It was an easy decision. Easy decision. You made... Okay, never mind. I thought... That, why was that message so long compared to the others? It threw me off. But yeah, that's good. That is good. So I don't think we have any other contracts we want to sign. Yanmark is gone. And all the big names are re-signed. Barzell 8.1 is a steal. But we only have him under that for two years. And then he's going to want a lot more. So... We could try to trade Scott. We could try to package Scott and Bear, maybe, for a better defenseman. But let's him to free agency and see who is available. Because we could, in fact, um, AHL head coach not renewed. All right, cry me a river. Yeah, okay. I'll probably hire some staff eventually. But not right now. Or maybe. Will I? No, I'll wait till next year. So our NHL staff is A-, minus, B-, minus, C. But if I go to hire coach... Is there an associate or... Ooh. This guy wants $5 million. Holy crap. Team fit 56, which isn't awful. And then this guy is an A coach. Wow. With a 66% fit. Barzell is pretty good with him. Boss, not so much. Boss is really good with this guy. Hmm. And Barzell's not as good with this guy. So it's tough. Like, let's, let's compare to our current coach. Franco, what's going on? Yeah, you have a 58% fit, and Boss is ecstatic with you. Barzell's pretty happy, but the rest of the boys, not so much. Sanford's pretty gassed. Should we try to hire that coach, maybe? The one with the really good team fit? I don't see why not. But I, I'll leave that for you guys, and I guess I'll go to the AHL head coach right now. Try to hire... Someone for that. I guess it's... Oh, it does show team fit. What the heck? All right. Interesting. 
Well, let's try to get, yeah, B minus. You were the highest team fit under the B minus category. Offer you that contract. Thank you very much. So let me know about the head coach. And on top of that, let's see if there's an associate or assistant coach. Okay, so we got B for assistant coach, which is nice. And none of them really have super good scheme fit, but yeah, that's uh, possible. I'll show you guys the current coaches we have as well, and then a C. So no, not really for assistant. Um, well, I guess we already have a C, but this guy has a, you can't see it. What about the associate? Can you see that? No, you cannot. You can only see it for the head coach, apparently. Well, anyway, that's our current staffing situation. So let me know about that. And did I ever end up assigned scout? Did I ever end up hiring scouts for the SHL, was it? Mm. Oh my goodness, we only have 12 scouts. What the heck happened? Okay, so I got to look into this. We have two Liga. We only have one Russia, so we could use another Russia. And I don't really recall seeing Nordic either. Uh, you. Sure. You're a B overall, and you scout Russia. Let's bring in. Boom. There it is. How many Canada scouts and U.S. scouts do we have? So we have U.S. East, U.S. Central. We should probably get some more U.S. scouts. Uh, I see one Russia scout. We just tried to hire another. OHL, WHL, OHL. So we have none for the Q. So we should probably get a QMJHL. And maybe even another WHL. Okay, so yeah, stack up on the Canadian Hockey League. This guy is an A. And he scouts the OHL. Let's just bring him in. Why not, you know? I don't see why not. And then WHL here with the A-. minus. We have a QMJHL with a B. So I'll bring you in. Sure. There you go. I want to try and get this guy because he is an A. So that'd be nice. There you go. And how much budget do we have? Okay, we should have enough. But, hmm. Let's try to bring in this guy too. I'll just give you exactly what you're asking. Hopefully, we have enough money for all of that. But anyway, let's check the free agency. Who's available? Free agency. Here it is. Sort by overall. Oh, Tara Vine, an 89 overall. UFA. Looking for 12 million though. No thanks. Bergeron, 88 overall. Noah Hannafin could be a defenseman we pick up. So I'll just scroll down here. Show you the guys. But I know that we were mostly looking for a defenseman. And Hannafin seems to be all right. If we go to round one again, goalies, we have, oh my word, Connor Hellebuck. And he wants 8.4. And then we have Mike Smith. It is Mike Smith, right? What the heck? He went all the way up to 88 with elite. And he has two abilities. Whose mans is this? Uh, Uko Pekka Lukonen. Yeah, he's pretty good as well. And he only wants 5.6. So you know what? Maybe we should get one of these goalies. Maybe we should... Try to even get Hellebuck, perhaps. Like, we have $20 million of cap. We could try to sign Hellebuck. And then, even on top of that, if we go to defense, we could also try to get Hannafin. So we could try to get both. Is this Philippe Myers? Yep. So let me know what you guys think. And then we could trade away one of our goalies and maybe Ethan Bear for maybe even a draft pick or another good defenseman. I'm not really sure. Eli Tolvanen, also here. Medium elite. Actually, he's probably a... Uh, yeah, he's RFA. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me know, guys. What do you think? Should we go after Hellebuck? Should we go after Hannafin? Should we not? I'm curious to see what you think, but we do have the cap, and we're going to be a good team next year, for sure. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments. I'll see you soon.